Hey guys, what is up? It's your host, Procrastinator, here today with another episode of Tag and Time. This time we're looking at episode 8. <clears throat> and as usual, there is a link. Sorry for coughing or whatever. Uh, allergies and stuff. Pollen, pollen time's coming around. So I might be sounding a little hoarse for the next few videos or so. I don't know. I don't know. And also, sorry for the lighting. Uh, my one my one source of light, besides a lamp and a terrible light bulb up there, is has gone to bed. A.K.A. the sun. It is nighttime right now. So I don't have any light coming in through the win winder. I guess I call it winder. I don't know. Do not, I blame I Carly for that one time when Sprinter was talking about a have, about a winder or whatever. Once he said that, I couldn't get out of my head. I can't. I can't say win window anymore. I have to actually force myself to say it. But yeah, I, there's no sunlight coming through the window, so I don't have any other light source. So the video may look worse than usual, which is not saying much because the videos never look never look that great. But yeah, uh, now that we get that out of the way, uh, go go down below to watch my reaction. As per usual, it should be down there. If it's not, uh, the sun took it away when it left. That is, that is my only explanation for it, why there's no link down there. But if it is there, disregard everything I've said up until this point, okay? So uh, why don't we get into it? Because like as usual, I enjoyed it, but I got questions and stuff and stuff to have to be aware of. So let's get into it. Three, two, one, go. Well, I don't know why I do that anyway. But yeah. It uh it opens. It's actually more of a relaxing episode than usual. But it kinda opens where the last one took off. Uh, as you as you expect and hope. With a big biggest birthday falling on Aaron, Aaron and Reiner. And uh they get to escape because all the heat that biggest birthday was uh, releasing. Yeah, yeah, everybody else got really, everybody down there got really injured, but everybody above was okay because they weren't near the heat that much. And then we go to the opening. Still love the opening. The Hunters. Yeah. The old man. I call him this because I, I don't remember. I like, I know his name, but I, I chose to forget it because I could never pronounce it. So I kind of gave up physics or something like that. Fikes. Sykes? I don't know. Yeah. Fix. Fix. I don't know. If anybody wants to tell me how to pronounce the name, I'd be mighty, I'd be mighty grateful. Yeah, he's here drinking, doing whatever. And they're doing... If you can't tell, it's been a few days since I, since I watched uh, the episode, so... I think I didn't get enough... I don't have it memorized right now. Yeah, uh, I'm just getting to the main stuff. So everybody's getting ready to go go out to the uh, place <clears throat> out here where everybody else is. Because for one, there's still no, there is still no hole that's been found. These are all the people who've been injured. And uh, I had actually tried, uh, very, very correct, I tried to figure out who the heck got a, uh, if anybody died or whatever. Because I still remember that when the biggest part that transformed, he ate Ymir, who I saw him. Saw him run away with uh near the beginning of the episode, and he ate someone else. I think. I begin to think that it's just that was just some no name character, or whatever. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it was someone else I didn't notice. I am not entirely sure. I think it's just some unimportant character because, I from the, from the looks of it, everybody who is important and has a name is here. And the rest are can are just cannon fodder. Or just there to die. Yeah, it's, yeah. I feel like everybody else, everybody's okay. I guess. Unless there's someone that I am completely I'm not thinking of. I just can't figure out who. Also, Hans. Hans is there. Hans. Hans. I'm not gonna read that. Then we get this little flashback of a. Uh, the, the youngsters when they're younger or -er, younger -er, what whatever and uh yeah i it just showed like something that repeats itself usually how's there to look after the little squirts aaron getting in trouble make a sign to come here come here see him after armin reported the danger and then usually something bad happens like this Hans got in, was drunk and got in, in a fight with just some random pedestrian or villager or person, just random person. 
That was, that was pretty much it. I can't forget to work from. And then after the tr after the people are away, Aaron goes after them, and they still have to wait for him to come back. And it sounds merry now because apparently that's exactly what happened. Even though he got kidnapped, kind of. But he he'll be back probably eventually. And uh, we have the most we have the most chill and rela chilling Titan ever. He's just sitting there looking at everybody, and watching the sky, watching the clouds. Probably look clouds. One that probably looks like a dog. You ever think Titans are just sit down, just, just cloud watch? Why don't, they, why don't they ever see a Titan in a cloud? Titan cloud. Be a weird. Probably that should be a name of a game. Titan cloud. Cloud Titan. Towed. I can't think of a way to combine that word. Those words. But uh, whatever. Yeah. Aaron is gone and. Pox me like right there, if I'm doing my math correctly, right there is where uh, Biggest Bertha uh, landed. And that was where Aaron and Raina first started, well, Raina first started dragging Aaron along to get in, get in here. So yeah. I just like to have the little detail there what where everything was in a sense. I could be wrong. But yeah, they took him booked. And uh, they're just talking here about how they can't. They can't. They actually can't go. They can't go anywhere because they can't go after them because the horses are on the other side of the thing, and they don't have a lift thing to carry it over. Which I feel like is. I understand, but I feel like it's a dumb thing, because I feel like at every wall, possibly, there should always be a uh, lift or at least two, so they get the horses over no matter what. But I could just be wrong. It could be a waste of resources. I don't know. Uh, anybody in the comments? Uh, if you all make a comment about anything I say in this video, for some reason, tell me, do you think it'd be a waste of resources for them to have a lift for the horses on every wall, at least one or two? Or not? Because it would be very useful if they had to make a quick getaway or something. But, uh, yeah. Everybody's... They're all okay. They just got very, very burned from the biggest Bertha. And, uh... <clears throat> they're just here. My... Thing of the days past where everything happened. Like I said before, Aaron runs off, these stuff follow, and Hans will follow after them usually. Is Hans gonna be alright in the next episode? I, don't, I hope we don't die. Trying to keep... Does duck or goose? Is that a goose or a duck? I think it's a goose. Yeah, these. Then these two start eating like freaking animals for some reason. Very intensely eating. And Erwin and his crew start coming. Hi, Historia. I was surprised she never told him by her else her name, because everybody else keeps calling her Krista. See. And they, they bought the lift thing, whatever. So I can get the thing. Yeah, I, I, it might be a waste of resources because they have to use the gas stuff to get it up, get pull the thing up and all that. Hmm. But, uh. I know her name, but I just forgot how to pronounce Hange. Hange, whatever. Red, red, is that red or auburn hair? Uh, I can't, I can't, I don't have a nickname for her like I do for Claymore. Weird. Where she had the idea where they, uh, uh, Reiner and Biggest Bertha went. And, uh, it is some place in the woods. Which, uh, I have to admit was pretty smart about where, where, she, where they go. I was thinking that when they, when they had, like, originally ran away, was that, uh, Reiner got as far as they could. Probably, probably would have, uh, yeah, nah. They wouldn't. Have, they probably wouldn't have done that. I mean, they're smart, but I don't think they're that smart to think that far ahead. Probably, because they. I, my thing would be like, I'm not, I'm not putting too much thought into this. I was gonna say like, he could have ran and then ran in the opposite direction while he's in armor time mode. What? So he be leaving the giant footprints for him to follow, and then once he got out of it, he put he in the. If he was able to, they could take off in the opposite direction, 
But now thinking about it, one arm, uh, arm in there, someone would probably would have thought that I'd try to reverse psychology and actually go the way that they want them to go. So it's, they played around the plan that, that I planned around. It's that type of scenario. It could have worked. But yeah, after she mentioned that Ryan was probably exhausted as hell after fighting Aaron like that. And uh, so yeah, they probably need to rest. So I did is go or his feet go or his feet track leave foot tracks whatever, and it ends with uh, his arm get uh, Aaron's arms uh, missing. I'm trying to think, I don't remember his arms being torn off in the time form. Maybe maybe when uh, uh was probably when uh, Ryan uh, ate him that that happened. They bit his arms off probably. You remember it's okay. She's regrowing her leg and arm. So she's good. And these two are okay. He is relaxing. She's doing. How to get the equipment? How did either of them get. Alright. Alright. Well, when I'm at 21.50, okay. And I gotta look at something real fast. Okay. That might have been why he hate the person. He got the equipment, that other person. Might get the equipment off him because if memory is correct, before this all happened, these two did not have their equipment. I think. I could be entirely wrong. I probably I probably am, but if I'm not, that's probably why they, why I hate the person to get the equipment. But even still, like around here, how did Ryder get the equipment? Cause like whenever Aaron went in time form and he had the equipment, on, it didn't it didn't really survive it. I think. So where did he get his? Cause Ymir, Ymir didn't have any. Aaron. I don't feel like this, he might have taken Aaron's for it. I don't know. Now I'm getting curious. I think too much of it. But yeah, that's basically how it ends with them being there. And everybody else going, going there. And I have to once again ask, where the hell's the Beast Titan? And where did they get this stuff? That will fit them. I feel like, it, I feel like it's one size fits all. I don't mind that. But still, where did they get it? I'm still, I'm not, I'm still leaning towards the first thing he ate, he ate is where he got, got the gear, but that was only one person. The memory starts, he ate, he ate one and Ymir. That was it. They only had enough for that because Ymir, like I said, Ymir didn't have one. So, Ryan, where did you get yours? Maybe you found someone out there? Maybe you found, I don't know. I'll probably explain it later. Maybe I'm thinking way too much into it. Maybe you should plot. Plot hole, something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to figure out how Aaron can get out of, out of this. How long would you guys say say uh, the fight, the past fight was from that now? Maybe an hour or two or three or more. Uh, it's more like how. How long has it been since she finally got in injured till now? Probably less than a day. What do you say about uh, it? would be more or less than 12 hours. I, I give it about six hours. Because I'm, I'm trying to figure out how long it took, long it took for her to regrow the, uh, well, start regrowing her leg and arm. So I'm trying to factor how long it would take for him to regrow his arms and then perhaps possibly injure himself to get get time for him. So that probably would be be smart because Reiner knows his has an idea what the tricks he do is. And there's still no way to beat the biggest brother right now. As far as I know, there's no way to beat him right now. Unless to do like you would a fire, throw your throw water on you to keep yourself uh, from catching on fire or whatever, or to keep a thin layer of protection. 
Maybe they could do that for him. Uh, question. I may not remember this or not, but um, in order for them to turn into Titans, they have to they have to be injured to draw blood, kind of like a Naruto summoning jutsu. But does it have to be from their own? No, it can't. It can also be from other things because before these two transformed, uh, Mikasa cut, cut biggest part to throw and did a lot of damage to Rider, and they transformed. And then everything regrew, basically, and healed. So, if he were to... If he bit his tongue, would that count? Or, like, stabbed himself in the foot? I don't know how he'd have, have any arms, but still. I also like the fact he is very just calm. Calm about waking up with no arms. Everybody I could feel like would be terrified if they woke up with no arms. I could be wrong. Probably sounded sensitive to people who, who didn't have, you, you know, I'm, so, I'm sorry. But still, I feel like he's way too calm about this. Though I guess if you're facing these two, you would have to keep calm. I don't know. Try, I'm trying to figure out what, what would happen next. Probably, be another, probably won't be another big fight for at least another episode or two. But we're going to find out backstory for these two and where they're going. And then probably figure out some other stuff. Possibly, I think. I don't know. Might finally get might she might finally tell everybody her name. Possibly. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of I find it kind of funny that everybody else is facing forward forward in a sense. She's facing toward the side. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know why I find that interesting, but whatever. But um yeah. That was my review of uh, Attack on Titan Episode 8. Yes, 8. I had to make sure. But, uh, so, yeah. So, mate, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. But please don't do that. That, that would never really, really hurt my feelings. I mean, you probably don't care if you, dis or you dislike it, but whatever. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. But go watch the reaction if you want to. Just go. If you made it this far and didn't watch the reaction, go watch it, watch it anyway. I don't know why, but I, I want you to. So with that, I will leave you all uh, and uh, tell you all farewell and whatever. And Cole, Cole, closing words. Couldn't say it better myself. Goodbye.